Welcome to today's Sunday school. Father, we thank you. We give you the honor. We give you the glory because you are God. Give us the means of understanding of your word in Jesus' name. Today we are in lesson four and the topic obstacle to understanding the Bible. And the text is First Corinthians chapter one verse eighteen and to the two verse fourteen to sixteen and John fourteen seventeen. And the aim is to warn believers against obstacles to understanding the Bible. Introduction. Every Christian wants to hear from God, yet a good number go to the Bible and it appears irrelevant and confusing. This feeling is getting stronger among the younger generation, where communication is becoming more through sound than reading. They want to experience God through the Bible, but their good intentions fall short when reading it. The Bible, which should be dynamic, important, and alive, often appears confusing, boring, and irrelevant. Those who take pleasure in sinning may read the Bible and yet never understand it. In John chapter 5, verse 37 to 40, this lesson will guide us against obstacles to understanding God's word. Discussion question 1. What are some obstacles to understanding the Bible? Sin is an obstacle. Social media, if used in a wrong way, is also an obstacle to me. Laziness and sleep is also an obstacle. In discussion question two, how can a knowledge of the historical background of the Bible help in understanding it? No one can turn to you as upside down or try to give you knowledge that you have not known about you will have you will have you have you will be love believe and hope that Jesus Christ is coming I will not be lazy when reading it all scripture is inspired by God so I have to read and live by the word in discussion question three what is discipline what discipline must a believer go through to understanding the Bible. Second Timothy chapter two verse fifteen. A believer need not to be ashamed to preach the gospel. We must do away with laziness. This question question four. In what ways is sin an obstacle to understanding the Bible? Psalm chapter one one nine verse one one thirty three. First Corinthians chapter one verse eighteen and chapter two verse fourteen. We will be guided and we will be overcome by evil. The word will sound foolish to a sinner and they will not understand it. That is why the advantage of sin as an obstacle for understanding the Bible. In this question, question 5, how are spiritual position, intelligence, literature, literacy, literary skills, and zeal not sufficient in the understanding of the Bible? John 3, 1 to 10. The word of God is alive and active. You need to encounter God to be able to understand. We need God's grace to understand his word. In this question, question 6. What is your greatest obstacle in understanding the Bible? How do you intend to overcome it? My greatest obstacle is laziness. And I have to do away with laziness if I want to understand the Bible. In conclusion, the lesson highlighted few obstacles to understanding the Bible, such as laziness, sin, and feeling that is in that is an absolute rule. Creating quality time for the study of the Bible will draw you closer to God, and not doing so will distance you from Him. Memory verse is First Corinthians chapter one verse eighteen. Read the message of the cross is foolish to those who are headed for destruction, but we who are being saved know it is the very power of God. New Living Translation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.